Let's look at some trig limits uh, homework. Uh, this is on page 80, section 1.4. Let's look at number 50. 50 says, determine if there are any x values where our function is not continuous. Uh, so we see some um, absolute value uh, for our interval, so we're going to have to rewrite this so that we can uh, see a little bit better. Uh, anytime we have an absolute value uh, inequality, we can always write this less than or equal to. We can write this as x minus 3 is less than or equal to negative 2 and less than or equal to 2. And once you have that, then we can add 3 to both sides um, to have our interval there, x between 1 and 5. Okay, if the absolute value of x minus 3 is greater than 2, we can think of this as x minus 3 is greater than 2 or x minus 3 is less than negative 2. So if we rewrite this, x is greater than 5 or x is less than 1. Okay, so we have our intervals uh, rewritten in the, in the form where it's uh, easier to, to read. Uh, now think about cosecant. Cosecant does have vertical asymptotes but they're only going to exist where sine is equal to zero. So sine is equal to zero at zero and pi. And between pi over six and five pi over six, uh, cosecant will be continuous. Uh, and then we also have y equals two, where x is less than one or x squared than five. So we're trying to determine if there are any x values where a function is not continuous. And uh, for the piecewise functions, the two x values where there could be discontinuities will be at 1 and at 5, right? Because we have two um, different functions that have to, that are either going to connect at these points where they start and end, or they're going to disconnect. So we're trying to use limit definition uh, continuity test uh, to s determine whether any of these possible discontinuities are uh, confirmed or not. So let's uh, go over limits continuity test. Uh, first, we need to figure out that uh, whether the target x value is defined or not. Okay. From there, we want to see does the limit exist. So in other words, um, we can test the one side of limits. Uh, limit as x approaches c from the right, is that going to equal to a limit as x approaches c from the left? Okay. And finally, uh, the point that exists, does it agree with where uh, the limit exists? Okay, so this will confirm whether uh, the function is connected through that point or not. Okay. Now, I drew a gra now I drew a graph here uh, to kind of give a visual as to um, as we go through the test. Um, uh, normally, you would not be able to, uh, to to sketch this graph out without a calculator, but I'm just graphing this out uh, just so that we can step through it visually a little bit easier. So let's go through our first condition. Our first condition, um, we're going to first test that x equals 1. Uh, so we plug 1 into, uh, into the appropriate order pair, uh, into the appropriate piecewise function. So 1 exists for cosecant of pi x over 6, so we'll plug 1 into cosecant of pi x over 6, and we get cosecant of pi over 6. Um, sine of pi over 6 is 1 half, so therefore cosecant of pi over 6 is equal to 2. So that's our that's where the order pair exists. Um, now, if we're trying to test the limits, we're going to test um, both sides of 1. So if we test the limit as x approaches 1 from the left side of 1, that's going to be with uh, the y equals 2. So limit as x approaches 1 from the left side of 2 is equal to 2. Right? Uh, algebraically, there's no variable to plug in, so it'll remain 2. Uh, the second one, uh, limit as x approaches 1 from the right side uh, will have to be the cosecant of pi over 6. And that's also equal to 2. So the limit's going to exist at 2. And finally, a third condition is does the point exist where the limit exists? The point exists at 2, the limit exists at, exists at 2, so we know that um, the function is continuous through x equals 1. Okay, so now we move on to uh, at x equals 5. 
uh, cosecant of 5 pi over 6 uh, at x equals 5. We plug 5 in, so we get cosine of 5 pi over 6, which is also equal to 2. Uh, limit as x approaches 5 from the right side of 5. It'll be this branch here, and that'll be 2. Uh, y equals 2, so we see that's going to give us 2. And as we uh, find limit as, as x approaches 5 from the left side of 5, okay, it'll be from this side, which will be cosecant of pi x over 6, which will also be 2. So we know that our ordered pair is going to exist where the limit exists, 2 is equal to 2. So we can conclude that our function is continuous at x equals 1 and x equals 5. So our function is continuous for all x values. Okay. Okay, let's look at number 58. Find the constant a such that the function is continuous on an entire real line. So we have uh, two piecewise, piecewise functions, four sine x over x, where x is less than 0, and a minus 2x, where x is greater than equal to 0. Okay, we're trying to identify the a value appropriate so that the piecewise functions will connect at the potential discontinuity, which is at 0. So our continuity test, okay, we know that um, three conditions, function uh, f of c is defined, needs to be defined at a, at a point, limit has to exist, and finally, the order pair has to exist where the limit exists. So first condition, we want to find out where 0 is defined. So 0 is defined for a minus 2x. So plug 0, uh, set g of x equal to a minus 2x, plug 0 in for x, so g of 0 equals a minus 2 times 0, which is 0. So g of 0 is equal to a, okay, which we're going to have to solve later. Second condition is, does the limit exist? Okay. Uh, limit as x approaches 0 uh, for 4 sine of x uh, over x is equal to 4. Okay. So therefore, in order for uh, the limit to exist and the or and um, function uh, so that the function is continuous at 0, the third condition has to pass as well, where um, g of 0 has to equal to where the limit at um, of the function is for 4 sine of x over x. And we know that the limit um, for 4 sine of x over x as x approaches 0 um, uh, using uh, the trig theorem that we know uh, is going to equal to 4. Okay, so the, for the function to be continuous at x equals 0, let a equal to 4. And if we do that, then g of 0 is equal to limit of 4 sine of x over x as x approaches 0. So if we let a equal to 4, then the third condition will pass and guaranteeing that we will have um, continuous function through x equals 0.